Please repeat after me. I solemnly swear. Chief Justice Philip Carbolito presided over the swearing-in ceremony. Senators, we will now take up the business of the election of the Speaker of the Legislature. The floor is now open for nominations. Senator Parkinson, you are recognized. I move to nominate uh, Senator Teresa Lahi as Speaker of the 37th Guam Legislature. You, you will be recognized as, you will be recognized, Senator. At this time, Senator Parkinson, you are recognized. Thank you. Republicans also nominated recently elected minority leader Frank Loss Jr. Then they voted. Okay, the results of the votes are Senator Joe Chimizo San Augustine, six votes, Senator Therese M. Terlai, three votes, and Senator Frank Bloss Jr., six votes. The number of votes required under the standing rules for the voting of speaker requires eight votes, so no one is elected uh, at this uh, time. A recess was called so the parties could presumably return to caucus and sort it all out. Our Nick Delgado caught up with some of them as they exited the Congress Hall. You accepted the nomination, so yes, pretty confident that you can continue on? I, I am hoping to do that for the people of Guam, yes. What happens from here? Well, just the process, you guys are in recess? It's a, yeah, it's a matter of votes, so we'll see. I'm confident on anything that anything can happen. So remember, I didn't campaign to be speaker. Let's start with that. I don't know uh, necessarily if any deals are going to be made. I think uh, the Republicans are trying to make a point. And, you know, uh, they're well within their right to do that. I think uh, we've got to sit down at the table and then, uh, figure out exactly what they want. I know that they were asking for some things in the last term that maybe they didn't receive. Uh, that we might be more willing uh, to entertain in this term. The Republicans are well aware that if the Democrat majority is unable to reach a consensus on a speaker, they have the leverage to determine who wields the gavel for the next two years. For KOAM News, I'm Nestor Leconto.